friends and welcome to the second session of Oceans of Plastic. For this next activity, I'm going to teach you guys a song. So if you're sitting, it's okay. And if you're standing, get ready for some dancing. Who's the king of the ocean? Who's the king of the sea? Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I'll tell you, J-E-S-U-S is He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe, the ocean and the sea. Let's add some dance moves. Who's the king of the ocean? Who's the king of the sea? Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I'll tell you, J-E-S-U-S. Is he is the king of me? He is the king of the universe, the ocean and the sea. I know that we might be very sad at what the humans are doing to the oceans, but remember that Jesus is king of the oceans and seas, and he loves all his creatures, and that is why he wants us to help look after them. Our scripture reading will be from the book of Psalms, chapter 104, verse 1 to 6, and then we'll jump to verse 25 to 28. Oh my soul, bless God. God, my God, how great you are. Beautifully, gloriously robbed, dressed up in sunshine, and all heaven stretched out, of, out for your tent. You built your palace on the ocean deep, made a carrier out of clouds and took off on wind wings. You command the wings as messengers. You appoint fire and flames as ambassadors. You set earth on a firm foundation so that nothing can shake it ever. You blanketed earth with ocean, covered the mountains with deep waters. What a wildly wonderful world. God, you made it all with wisdom at your side, made earth overflow with your wonderful creation. Oh, look, the deep white sea, bringing with fish past counting, sardines and sharks and salmon. Ships plow those waters, and the great sea monsters romp in them. All the creatures look expectantly to you. To give them with their meals on time. To give them their meals on time. You come and they gather around. You open your hand and they eat from it. I want to ask you guys a quick question. What do you guys think would happen if I was to throw this plastic bag on the side of the road? Well, I think I know. The wind is going to take that particular bag into our rivers and into our oceans, which is something that we do not want, right? And that is why I'm going to teach you guys about the four R's. The first R is refuse. We need to refuse the use of straws. If you go buy a cold drink somewhere and they give you a straw, tell the shopkeeper that you do not want to hurt our turtles in the sea and therefore you cannot use the straw. The second R is reduce. When mommy or daddy or grandmommy or your big sister goes out for shopping, remind them to take a cloth bag with. That way, we will be reducing the production of plastic. Thirdly, reduce, reuse, reuse. Well, I made a pencil case holder with a yogurt container. That way, I'm reusing this container Usefully, you see, all my stationaries are all in here. We need to reuse what we will, we need to reuse what we already have. The fourth R is recycle. You need to take up all the cans, all the papers, and all the glasses and plastics, and take it um to to a person who there are people who do recycling 
for a living in our communities. So if you have papers and plastics, gather them all together and take them to that particular person. And that person will take them to this big factory where they will be recycled. Remember that it is only through us that we can save our oceans and our seas and our little turtles. Who is the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I'll tell you, J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes, he is.